Hey, Amy White with Worthy Written Words. Today we're in the Old Testament and we're going to be in Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 through 3, mainly verse 3. First thing I'm going to do is prop the book up with a book underneath it so that it's not uneven and put some scrap paper behind and on top of my pages. Then using the Ziploc bag, the two watercolor tubs and a water brush or a paint brush with a cup of water. We're going to add water to the paint tubs and then just apply that onto the Ziploc bag in no shape or form. We're just gonna stick it on there however you want. The bigger the droplets, the bigger the marks it'll make on your page. And then when the Ziploc bag has paint all over it, we're gonna apply this to the margins of our page and smear it around. You can repeat this process as many times as you want until you feel like you have the desired look. And you can also put the bag back on top of the paint again to move the paint around some more before it dries. The more layers you do, the more depth it will create. And you can do uh, little dots everywhere on top of different colors so that you can make sure you're applying like purple on top of the blue and vice versa to get different colors instead of the same color. Now working on the vase, I'm going to just do a basic coat of pink paint over the entire thing. There's lots of different things you can do to make this vase different if you're not a fan of the pink. And I'm going to include a, a picture of a couple of other things that I did to show you some examples. You can put watercolors of different colors on it since it is watercolor paper or you can pick out different colored paint. You could do designs like stripes or polka dots. You could do all sorts of different things. So here's where you can really be creative. To add the dots of blue, I take some blue paint and mix it with water and then I tap my paintbrush above it with my finger so that it puts little dots of paint which adds some texture to it. I'm covering the vase with the other piece of paper because I want to keep the dots out, out of the middle section and only keep it in the, the sides, but it doesn't really work very well for me in this particular vase, but you can see it in some of the other vases. And then after I'm done with the dots, I'm going to add the glitter, the, the stickles gold glue to create the break marks. And you can see if you ever get clumps, in your glitter glue, you can use a paper clip to shove it down the barrel and unclump it. There's no rhyme or reason to my marks. If you want, you can copy what I did. And you want to make sure that it's totally dry before you start the next step, which is adding the glossy accents in between the marks. Now, I'm not going to go over the glitter glue. I'm going to go around the glitter glue. If it's not high enough or if it's not dry enough, then it will go on top of the glitter glue. And that's okay because we're gonna add another layer of glitter glue when it's all dry. If you get any bubbles in your glossy accents, you can pop them with a paper clip or you can just move them with the tip nozzle off of your project. But if you leave them there, they will dry that way with the bubbles. So you wanna get rid of them as soon as you see them. And you want to let this dry all by itself for at least 30 minutes, maybe even longer. You don't want to put any heat on it to try and make it dry faster. You just let it sit and dry. And it could take even a few hours for it to really solidify and dry. Now I'm going to go back and add an extra coat of glitter glue on top of the other one where I feel like it's needed. You can do the whole thing if you want or only do touch up spots, whatever you wanna do. Here's an example of some other vases that I did using some crackle paint on one and then the other one, it's hard to see with the gloss but I've, I've put stripes of different colors like orange and pink and red on it, but all of them have the blue dots on the top and then the golden cracks. I kind of like the textured one the best, but the pink one does pop the best on top of the blue background. But this is just to give you some ideas if you wanted to do something different. 
using the vase, I'm going to apply these sticker swashes, paint swashes, to my page and ignore that the vase is dark blue. That was my original vase. I told you I made multiple different vases and at the end I decided it was just too much blue so I wanted a different color that would pop. So these stickers are removable if you do it right away at the beginning. If they sit for a while and then you peel them up it will peel the back of your page. So I'm kind of moving it around to get it to how I want it and after we're done with this I'm going to apply the stickers for the title of this page where it says Beauty in the Broken. Using the gold stickles that is in your kit, I'm going to outline the word beauty with it. And after I do this, I'm going to use a paper clip to kind of push it around so that you can better understand what the word says. So if you feel like the glue is going in places that you don't want, then you can uh, refine it this way. Then using the glossy accents, I'm going to apply it to these broken stickers, the same way that I did on the vase, getting rid of any bubbles that might pop up, and then letting it sit to dry. Next, we're going to apply your vase using the 3D foam dots and then also the branch that goes underneath it. And I'm going to strategically place the branch so that it doesn't cover up words and it kind of drapes over the corner of the top of the page. Moving on to the tab, we're going to put the Japanese word up at the top. You could always do your own word at the top that's different if you don't want to do it like this. But I'm just centering it. And then I'm going to apply the tab with the washi tape to the top of my page. Then on top of the washi tape, I'm going to put the definition sticker. And then finally, using some mild liner highlighter markers, I'm going to highlight verse 3. And I am just making it so that Beauty for Ashes stands out against the rest of the verse, since this is kind of what this is focusing on the most. And I just chose markers that match, and I'll put a link in the description of the video. So if you want to get some, you can find them there. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I hope you like this page kit, and we'll see you guys next time.